you can even see the difference in people's brain waves. People with both mindsets came into our brainwave lab at Columbia. As they answered hard questions and got feedback, we were curious about when their brain waves would show them to be interested and attentive. People with a fixed mindset were only interested when the feedback reflected on their ability. Their brain waves showed them paying close attention when they were told whether their answers were right or wrong, but when they were presented with information that could help them learn, there was no sign of interest. Even when they'd gotten an answer wrong, they were not interested in learning what the right answer was. Only people with a growth mindset paid close attention to inform a tion that could stretch their knowledge. Only for them was learning a priority. What's your priority? If you had to choose, which would it be? Loads of success and validation. Or lots of challenge. It's not just on intellectual tasks that people have to make these choices. People also have to decide what kinds of relationships they want. Ones that bolster their egos or ones that challenge them to grow. Who is your ideal mate? We put this question to young adults, and here's what they told us. People with a fixed mindset said the ideal mate would put them on a pedestal. Make them feel perfect. Worship them. In other words, the perfect mate would enshrine their fixed qualities. My husband says that he used to feel this way, that he wanted to be the god of a one person, his partner's religion. Fortunately, he chucked this idea before he met me. People with a growth mindset hoped for a different kind of partner. They said their ideal mate was someone who would see their faults and help to work them. Challenge them to become a better person. Encourage them to learn new things. Certainly, they didn't want people who would pick on them or undermine their self-esteem, but they did want people who would foster their development. They didn't assume they were fully evolved, flawless beings who had nothing more to learn. Are you already thinking, uh oh, what if two people with different mindsets get together? A growth mindset woman tells about her marriage. To a fixed mindset man, I had barely gotten all the rice out of my hair when I began to realize I made a big mistake. Every time I said something like why don't we try to go out a little more, or I'd like it, if you consulted me before making decisions, he was devastated. Then instead of talking about the issue I raised, I'd have to spend literally an hour repairing the damage and making him feel good again. Plus he would then run to the phone to call his mother, who always showered him with the constant adoration he seemed to need. We were both young and new at marriage. I just wanted to communicate. So the husband's idea of a successful relationship total on critical acceptance was not the wife's. And the wife's idea of a successful relationship confronting problems was not the husband's. One person's growth was the other person's nightmare.